to Leo Messi and to try to make it happen. So Barcelona are not giving up. They know it's complicated, but they are not giving up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Leo Messi. I want to return on the story of Leo Messi with some updates on the future of Leo Messi, but also something going on between Barcelona, the new director, also the situation of Ruben Neves and more. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, we know about Leo Messi situation and we will enter into the Leo Messi situation, but let me mention something before entering all the Messi into all the Messi story on some other stories around Barcelona that will make we understand at which point is the uh, plan of Barcelona for the summer and then we enter into Leo Messi. First of all, Barcelona need a new director. Of course, Jordi Cruyff is there doing an excellent job. He's always been uh, close to Matteo Lemani, doing important things for Barcelona. But Matteo Lemani left the club to join Aston Villa. This is going to be signed very soon. And so who's going to be the new director? The feeling around Deco, former Barcelona and Chelsea player, who is really close to Barcelona and to the president Juan Laporta, is that he's going to accept Barcelona proposal to become part of Barca board. So Deco has very good chances to become new Barcelona director. He's speaking to Barcelona. He's really tempted by this possibility. He's not done, but the negotiations are progressing very well. Deco is also an agent, so he has to clarify how to handle with this thing. And then he will uh, speak to Barcelona again and he will try to reach full agreement. But, but the feeling is really positive between Deco and Barca in the last few days. So this is the situation around the director. Then there is the situation of some signings. We said about Inigo Martinez going to be uh, the first signing. Everything is done. Two-year contract. Then for Ilchai Gundogan, we know he's only focused on Manchester City now. Gundogan wants to win all the titles with Man City and then to make a decision. So we have to wait on Gundogan. The proposal of Barcelona is there. And what Barcelona are doing to tempt Gundogan is to offer a longer contract. Manchester City are prepared to offer a contract extension to Gundogan, but Barcelona are offering a longer contract. So this is the strategy of Barca to convince Gundogan, let's see what the player will decide at the end of the season. And then mentioning midfielders, we know Sergio Busquets is leaving Barcelona with Saudi league as possible uh, and most credible destination as of today, but we know also that Barca will need a player there. We keep mentioning the name of Sofian Amrabat because the player wants the move and Barcelona really appreciate Amrabat. We know also that Zubi Mendy is the priority for Xavi Hernandez in that position, but it's a very complicated deal on a financial point of view and also because the player is very happy at Real Sociedad, we have to clarify something on Ruben Neves, because we had many rumors about Ruben Neves, we told you that at the moment there is no green light to proceed with Ruben Neves and Sufati swap deal, this is not something that is happening despite many rumors, the reality is that Jorge Mendes, the agent of Ruben Neves, uh, has already discussed Ruben Neves with Barcelona president Juan Laporta. And the idea is that there is an agreement on personal terms between uh, Ruben Neves and Barca. So on player side, there is no problem at all. Ruben Neves is prepared to wait for Barcelona. So what's going to happen? Barcelona are going to look at options in that position because we know that Xavi has different priorities for the new defensive midfielder. But Ruben Neves will remain an option because Ruben is prepared to wait for Barcelona. He has agreed personal terms and he has no problem on waiting a bit, weeks, we will see how long it will take for Barca. So Ruben Neves will wait for Barcelona and then we will understand more. And then guys, Leo Messi, the big topic as always. I spent the last week telling you guys nothing is done for Messi. We had many rumors of Dundee with Barca and it was not done. We had last week a lot, lot of rumors about Halilal Dundee and I told you guys nothing is done. Then Jorge, Mendes, uh, Jorge Messi, the father of, uh, of Leo, also mentioned in public that nothing is is happening around uh, Leo Messi in terms of done deal. Of course, there are proposals. Of course, things are happening in terms of negotiation, but nothing is agreed. So what's the point? Guys, we keep repeating Inter Miami interest. We know about that, but it's not something advanced at the moment. Halilal proposal, more than 400 million euros net per season. The biggest salary ever in football, but also some commercial deals included in this conversation. So Halilal interest remains there, uh, remains there for Leo Messi and Halilal bid remains there. So Halilal are waiting for Leo Messi and they are really pushing and pushing and pushing to get it done, but they don't have a green light from Leo Messi right now and Barcelona. And guys, what I wanted to add about Barcelona is that also over the weekend, the feeling of sources is that Barcelona have no intention to give up. This week and probably also next week, Barcelona are going to push again with La Liga to find an agreement and to get the green light on the financial plan to make an official bid to Leo Messi and to try to make it happen. So Barcelona are not giving up. They know it's complicated, but they are not 
giving up. The news is that they're going to push again. They spoke to La Liga about selling players. Ansu Fati could be one of them. We have to keep an eye on the situation of Ferran Torres because it's true that Ferran wants to stay at Barcelona, but Barcelona are prepared to discuss with any club if they want to make some proposal for Ferran Torres. We have to see, to see what's going to happen around many players, but Barcelona are prepared to sell players to reduce some salaries. We know that Sergio Busquets is leaving the club and this is helpful in terms of salary. But also important to say that Barcelona remain really confident on registering other players. We know Gavi, Araujo and many others already signed new deals at Barcelona, but they have to, regist to be registered to La Liga. So it's not an easy process, but Barcelona still want to try. Barcelona are trying to find a way. Barcelona are pushing and pushing again. So these weeks are going to be really important, but Barca want to push and insist again around the Leo Messi story. They are not giving up. So let's see what's going to happen. This is financial fair play. This is La Liga. This is not just a normal negotiation, a transfer market negotiation. This is why we have to wait and see. But for sure, Barcelona are trying and insisting on this Leo Messi story because they also know that Messi has not given any green light to Halilal yet. So he has the proposal of Halilal. I told you beginning of April about that bit, but it's not something agreed yet. So Let's wait and see, but this Leo Messi story is still open. And so guys, let me know your thoughts. Where do you think Leo Messi is gonna end up at the end of the season? I wait for your prediction, guys. Here in the comments, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.